What's good, y'all? Today we're going to be doing a song breakdown of Crazy by Norris Barkley. Not the real guitar part to this is like one of the most beginner friendly tunes. And it's really like a groove. Like you're really sitting here riding on a guitar riff, so to speak. If y'all haven't heard the term riff before, it's primarily used in rock, but it's used in all genres. And riffs are pretty much just melodic lines that are repeated over and over again. It's oftentimes used with just, it can be used with subtle harmony, like double stops or things of that nature. But riffs aren't really like chord progressions. They're like the main guitar part. So for the main guitar part for this. It consists of a bouncy rhythm. That the guitar and the bass are playing together. I would consider that eight bars. That was eight bars right there. So it's two bars per note. And the notes are C, E flat, A flat, and G. C, 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 second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar. Fifth bar. Two and three, four, one. Two and three, four, one. Two and three, four, one. Two and three, four and. So here's the thing. The rhythm is very straightforward in this song. It's a very simple rhythm. One, two, and three, four, over and over again. I'm going to do that without hitting the strings. That way it's not too loud. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. That's the rhythm over the C. That's the rhythm over the E flat. That's the rhythm over the A flat. You're going to have that every single time. But once you get to G, it alternates. So the first time that you're on G, you have one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four, and... The second time you're on G, you have one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, C. So it, it skips a note, or it jumps the gun and heads back to home before the phrase even finishes. It's quite intriguing to hear, but when you hear it, you'll hear it, and you'll know that you're doing it. So the original chord progression, when I said it goes from C, third fret of the A string, it will really be a C minor. Then it goes to E flat, that would be E flat major. Then it goes to A flat. That would be A flat major. Then G dominant. Oftentimes does a sus. That's the primary chord progression, the primary riff. But that's pretty much the whole song. That's the whole premise of the entire song. Outside of that, there is a switch up in the chord progression. It switches to one major. Flat six. Which is still major. Flat three, which is still minor. This is over the start of the second verse. During this chord progression, it's still the same rhythm and everything. You're still playing C, 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 C. One, two, and three, four. But you jump down to A flat. Four, one, two, and three, four. E flat, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. G, two, and three, four. This is the one with four and four and one. Two and three, four. Then it goes back to the original riff where you go to E flat as your second note and then A flat as your third note. C, C. Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Possibly G G Oh A flat That's the B section That's pretty much the whole premise of the entire song There's only an A section and a B section The B section starts at the second verse the third verse, the start of the second verse, and the third verse, and the start of the outro. But everything else is just the A section. So A section has C, E flats, A flats, and G. And B section has C, A flats, E flats, G. And if I was saying four chords, C minor, E flat major, A flat major, G dominant or b section 
C major, A flat major, E flat major, and then G dominance. And that's the full thing. If you like what you heard, if you wanted to learn this further, click the links in my bio. I have more learning resources there. Or look at the next video where I'm actually doing the cover of this and I'm doing more expensive chords, more different rhythms and things of that nature. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.